Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, New Earth Star Family of Mother Gaia Galactica. We are now on day 5 of 10 Galactic Activation Portal Days in a row on the Mayan Zolkin calendar in this intense wave spell of the Red Serpent with Galactic Signature Keen 110 White Rhythmic Dog. With Scorpio season fully flowing with the holy waters of Source, our local Solaris continues to send Gamma Mother Plasma waves of cosmic rays, releasing seven C-class solar flares today and an M-class flare, maxing at M1.16 at 733 UTC, bringing in our Heaven on Earth codes of the 37 into the 73. We also had major spikes of higher resonance in Mother Earth's heartbeat today, appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 45 hertz, 60 hertz, and a big blast of 70 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics continue to fully anchor in and rising. Pachamama also had a powerful activation today on her Pacific Ring of Fire with a magnitude 5.8 earthquake in the southwest tip of Mexico in Chiapas at 1446 UTC holding the sacred code of our 144 starseed earth angelics. All our good people of the new earth are feeling these deep events and activations within their sacred vessels of light as we rise together into our new golden age of eternal life. Remember, earth angels, that there is no timeline that the dark wins, because victory is always with the light. Goddess Speed, Galactic Earth Angelics of Terra Nova Gaia, Mothership 33 of our Universal Fleet of the New Jerusalem. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle, Keen 47, Blue Galactic Hand, with our Universal Alliance of Light, with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful Sekhmet's Divine Flame Prayer. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. Now we continue with Divine Angel of the Light, Lightworker 4444. In fields of gold, there exist infinite lotuses opening the all-seeing eye in each of their petals. 144,000 golden strands of consciousness unfurl, threaded on DNA fibers. With these golden eyes of lotus petals, we are beginning to see our new world emerge from within. And today from Divine Angel of the Light, Portal 144. Galactic Federation will soon welcome you back to their motherships once the 5D Earth becomes a new home for humanity. And from Divine Brawl throughout the Light Rick Jewers, update, a divine hunkering up is commencing and will continue to about November 10th of linear time. A divine energetic space has been created as a result of the bifurcation to take a seat in the observation post. A destruction of the old programs are at play. Once the turmoil settles, there will be a mass exodus into the true salvation, the promise of the will of God Prime Creator. One can only be fooled so many times. Then a breakdown of the illusions occur. The Illuminati agenda of buying souls cannot compete with truth, and it falls as the blinders come off. Another level of consciousness can see and escapes the control matrix. Love and Light, Rick Jewers. And today from Divine Angel of the Light, Marsac 2010. Incoming energies in the last days that have people very tired and exhausted. The last portal has been demanding. We are strong. We are resistance. We are warriors of God. 
and today from divine sistar of the light Shea from numbers by Shea numerology 1022 coming in 102524 today is a test of self mastery a big part of this year's evolution and consciousness it wants to know if you can be true to yourself in a crowd can you hold your space if you face disapproval if you can't play the game if you're different can you stay in balance when others make you uncomfortable, when they disagree with you, embarrass you, turn away from you? Can you be present without judgment, proceed without expectations, support without reward, love without conditions? Can you face negativity but choose joy and peace? All these questions are within today's 25-7. Number two for unity, number five for freedom and number seven for wisdom. The answers, however, are all within you. And today from Divine Brothor of the Light Galactic Jack, out of the silence. Silence is not a lack of words or an empty room. It is deep within us, and when contacted comes to the surface. Those who transcend know the truth of this. Those who know silence live it through all situations. It can't be mimicked, but can only be known from contacting our source and then living it each day. Out of the silence comes sound, conversation, music, a myriad of sounds. But without the backdrop of silence, there is only noise, endless noise floating on the surface of life. Be the ocean, not the wave. Live life fully. Dive deeply with grace and through meditation transcend and know the silence of the self. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aura 444. Stabilize your angelic pillar of light. You are certainly taking flight to higher dimensions of light. Magnetic poles are shifting to the organic blueprint of creation. Glory be. I am grateful for all you star seeds who are helping anchor a new earth. The process of ascension going from density, that is darkness, to that of creation, can look beautiful and wild at times. What was hidden wasn't pretty, but what comes next is. Remain in trust and stay in harmony. As Tellur currents are increasing from geomagnetic activity that increases quakes in California, that tectonic activity will increase as light gets stronger, just like this week. Being calm makes an easy shift. Chaos brings destruction. It's why calmness is a super ability against darkness. Fear and worries feed the beast. Trust, peace, and harmony give your soul light and your mind at ease, which calms your nervous systems and helps your health through your biology. Everything is energy, and the angelic human creation is a powerful force of energy. Radiate your light and harmonize to the light kissing nature now. It is stunning. And from divine sister of the light, Victoria Gold Light, be the eye of the storm. We are in the midst of reclaiming our planet from the grip of severely negatively polarized forces that have controlled humanity and Earth's resources for eons. As we awaken to the depth of this manipulation, the coming weeks and months will bring an escalation of events, disclosure, chaos, and power struggles that will challenge our ability to remain calm and centered. However, these turbulent moments are necessary for us to transcend this old reality. It is through the full awareness of truth, no matter how uncomfortable, that we can liberate ourselves. The chaos we witness is a sign that these negative forces are losing their hold panicking as they try to retain power, but they can no longer maintain control in the face of humanity's rising consciousness. The collective light we now embody is too powerful for anything heavily polarized to the negative to survive in this new era. Stay grounded in this knowing as we move through these times, for we are the creators of the new earth. Victory of the Light and today from Divine Energy Works, another massive cosmic blast X3.33 solar flare released a plasma cloud, partially directed toward Earth. 
We are moving through 10 consecutive galactic activation portal days, October 21st through the 30th. A special energetic gateway that brings transmissions of high frequencies and of the ascension plasma waves through our sun from Alcyon and Sirius. Galactic activations and DNA upgrades, light body activations, kundalini activations, 5D upgrades to our chakra system and nervous system. During this time, the energy is designed to work deeply within our light bodies, activating dormant codes and bringing kundalini activations. It facilitates significant 5D upgrades to our chakra system and nervous system, assisting in the recalibration to embody higher states of consciousness. These frequencies are not just about transformation, they are paving the way for a new level of alignment as we integrate higher energies into our physical and subtle bodies. Expect an acceleration of inner shifts, heightened awareness, and the emergence of new levels of clarity. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. A memory poignant for now. These many months filled with initiations, alignments, and holy fire is maturing our inner divinity ever more quickly as we conceive and reveal more of ourselves to ourselves through each passing day. As we come into the final stretch of this oh-so-long year, there shall be no shortage of continuing coherent blazing light within and above leading us deeper into becoming the visible resurrection and the life of the triumphant divine human as a collective, through each on their own soul journey. I remember decades ago, while on a particular deep and long dark night of the soul, the book, The Nine Faces of Christ, was gifted to me. A rather daunting book to read, I flipped to a page and read this. I am the radiant soul of the Supreme God and have come from the physical body of the triumphant human. It continued, I came into being from unformed matter. I have dressed myself in the hard shell of substance and I contain the light of every God that was, is, or shall ever be. My body has served the feeding ground of my soul. Thus I give birth unto myself out of my physical self, that you in turn would become the resurrection of the life, the true life you were born to live. That time is now, through the infinite invisible within you, making itself more prominent day by day. Soon the awakening and the awakened shall remember and behold this truth of themselves. I am the resurrection and the life. From countless deaths we have been through in this lifetime alone, and God's holy fire of light streaming through the great central sun, many have been propelled to conceive themselves anew, through the telepathically spoken and then written words of Anna, Yeshua's grandmother, every cell of your body and every atom of matter receiving these high frequencies of light is like a sacred spiritual insemination. And it is each that receives these frequencies of light and consciousness and heart that are giving birth to their holy self and the holy new earth. It is important, she continued, to harmonize the oftentimes chaotic birthing pains with love. Be you man or woman, as you are giving birth to the presence of the Christ in yourself and assisting all life to remember the power of miracles and love. You have been chosen to be the miracle you wish to see in the world. Love, blessings, and grace to all from MaureenMoss.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, as we continue integrating higher aspects of ourselves lost through profound pain and trauma, we continue regaining wholeness and sovereignty. The current passage, governed by the Scorpio lunation and its healing energies, is a magnific one for us to work on soul courting, clearing astral relationships and other attachments that connect us and our female organs to others, non-benevolent forces, and all the external distractions that may impede us to govern our consciousness and remain in our higher hearts. 144 Flowing In 
These last two months of the year are key to emancipating from old bonds and mental cages. This has been a year of profound reconnection and mission embodiment for many of you. It has not always been easy, but worth it. For every time we experience what we may see as chaos, a part of us is growing in love, wisdom, and power. We appreciate it much later when we are ready to see beyond the physical challenges. The importance is not to lose ourselves in the shadows we have to traverse to find ourselves again. For it is not about finding more peace, love, or power of abundance, but about finding ourselves, what gives us access to all the previous, for all is within. When we realize this simple but hard-to-practice truth, we start aligning and creating all we need for our physical reality. As we navigate through the end of this year, we will see the results of all we have been working with, on both an individual and planetary level. Seeing how our bodies have shifted, becoming more sensitive, and hence aware of many invisible things we did not before. This process of conscious release and clearing triggers density emancipation, as my guides call the process of physical ascension when we are ready to transcend the three-dimensional levels and start embracing the soul dimensions, which is why soul retrieval and alignment of our Hara line is so important. Density emancipation describes the process by which our bodies start releasing density, becoming more crystalline in essence. Physically emancipating from all we have carried for eons that did not belong to us. Retrieving our original crystalline, or Christos as many call it too, twelfth dimensional template. Our bone structure, nervous system, and brain will be the most impacted areas of our anatomy, affected by these imperceptible but very real changes in our bodies. This is a three-stage process. The transfiguration of three main chakras, astral liberation, and Earth's physical emancipation when we choose to leave the planet. This is a process that many of you are already initiating, which is not an easy one. As ascension is not a mental concept, it is not about reading about ascension or wanting it, but about working on it with all our heart and the knowledge we possess at the moment. 737 heaven on earth codes flowing in we are finally entering into a new era of freedom physical emancipation of all the trauma inherited self-created and inserted upon us an era to move from duality and unlove to unity and harmony where our daily efforts to remain who we are in our compassionate hearts is what will continue stabilizing our new harmonic timeline May you live in love with all your heart, beloveds, with an infinite love, from NataliaAlba.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. Although many are not aware of this, the ascension process is speeding up, and you will find that you simply do not react anymore to things which are seemingly happening in old earth. You simply do not wish to engage anymore. And with this... Then fears evaporate, and there is this deep inner knowing that all will work out in ways you may not quite foresee right now, but that is how it is supposed to be. We have stepped into a totally different higher dimensional state now, and with this, our soul connections are deepening as we now finally have access to our ineffable soul knowledge, wisdom, and all the experiences we have ever had as a soul in other star systems and galaxies, in this universe and even beyond, as well as those lifetimes on earth. Our soul memory banks are opening. As this happens, we simply cannot go back to our old self, our ego self anymore. We are transcending it. We are starting to understand what true mastery means, and more than this, how we shape our own reality via every single thought, feeling, and action we are taking or not taking. Things which so grabbed our attention and zapped our energies no longer can do so. We have simply outgrown it all. Through it all, the heart center expands now to include the throat and third eye. As the latter now merges with our crown chakra, so that all seeing, all believing, and all knowing now include all wisdom. 
This opens up the higher faculties of all these chakras as they now synchronize with those above our head and our transmitter channels open even more. These are like giant satellites which connect us universally. Now the soul can soar again and communicate at intergalactic and universal levels, which we could not do when still in the old earth and its extreme density. All of this is life-changing. The good news is that all of this will extend as we grow into the new human race, the new root race of man. All is happening now, and most of this is unseen by the naked eyes, but fully seen by the single eye. Expect the unexpected, and simply allow yourself to expand beyond anything you ever believed is possible. We now live the seeming impossible as we reclaim our true inheritance as sons and daughters of the prime creator and source. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Awaken from the dream. As your reality is shifting, your internal desires are changing. Internal light source, higher light mission expanding. It's not a coincidence. You are being called to awaken deeper and deeper. Please acknowledge the great achievements of you, releasing cellular memories as you activate, awaken. Self-love is of great importance, to be in gratitude for the advancement of your physical vessel. Know your energetic presence is greatly assisting the process of awakening ascension. Acknowledge the power of you. Journal your thoughts, your light expansion. Dream of your future. Daydream of being with us. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code. The ancient wisdom of creation is showing us how to co-create a world of peace and unity. As this information expands through cells of the body, it may bring up the pain, regrets, and disappointments from this and past lifetimes. However, we need to harness the feminine wisdom and use it to create something bigger and better that will ripple throughout the world. Follow this path of ascension and discover this truth that is ready to be expressed through you. Together we are regenerating the earth into a fifth dimensional planet we all love and cherish. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com 144 continuing to quantum flash in and from divine sister of the light colleen lemma on friday october 25th the moon ruler of our emotional body and leo the lion is in a challenging square aspect with mercury ruler of our mental body and scorpio the scorpion we may be going through a battle between the heart and the mind love and logic leadership and power the moon in Leo wants to be in touch with our inner child and have fun, be appreciated and recognized, and take charge in creative projects. Mercury in Scorpio wants to be intense and serious, reflect and do research, and transmute shadow energies. The water of Scorpio may put out the fire of Leo. However, this energy is followed up by the moon, creating positive aspects to Chiron, the healer, and Jupiter, the expander. So we are able to alleviate whatever difficulty may be happening within ourselves or with others, and expand into joy, inspiration, curiosity, and positive social interactions once again. Blessings of love and light to all. From SacredSoulEmpowerment.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Mars in Cancer, Sextile Uranus Retrograde in Taurus. There's an invitation to explore a new path, create new goals, be spontaneous. However, with Mars in Cancer approaching in opposition to Pluto, fears and insecurities are also in the mix. Be kind to yourself. It's natural to feel nervous of the new. Trust that you are strong enough to navigate challenges that come your way. Tune into your gut instincts for guidance. Don't allow old history to hold you back. Soothe yourself, then start an adventure. You never know what thrills await along the path. 144. Holding strong and steady. 
Uranus shows us that there is a way through. Free yourself from the sorrows of old battles. Liberate yourself from the chains of the past. Awaken to what needs to change. Revolutionize your goals to reflect your deepest passions. Initiate excitement. Plan something to look forward to. Different actions create different results. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, King 110, White Rhythmic Dog. Rhythmic is the name for the number six, and its keywords are balance, organize, and equality. Each day of every wave spell is like an exercise, a habit that is good for you. Every 13 days we have a rhythmic day, which is really handy because it reminds us to get ourselves straightened out. We are now on the fifth portal day in a row, day six of the Red Serpent wave spell. It is more important than ever to get organized and rebalanced because of the intensity of all these portal days. If every wave spell is a journey, then this one is like a roller coaster. Try to pay attention to this instruction guide that Zolkeen. Tidy up your space in your mind and take care of practical things like finances. This is such a whirlwind these 13 days that no one could be blamed for letting everyday things go to pieces. But today we need to stop, get off that roller coaster and take care of business. Today is White Dog, which represents love, loyalty, and heart. The dog gives absolutely everything into whatever he is focused on, whether it be very cool or mundane. If you are a white dog, I know that by suggesting to you that today you should get organized means that you will throw yourself into that process. We can all be as tenacious as the dog today and get the job done. Remember that dog represents love as well, so love what you do, even if it's tedious, and help your loved ones if they are struggling with tasks. Organize with love is the message of this balanced pooch. The guide today is also the white dog, and so a double helping of that energy. Magnetic rhythm and spectral days are always guided by themselves. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. White Rhythmic Dog, 6 Oak, Keen 110, 25th of October, 2024. Organizing for Greater Love, Keen 110, Equal Portal for Manifesting a Divine Partnership. Double the Love Day Today, Let Your Love Flow, Day 6 in the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival, Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force, Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. Today we learn that our survival, both as an individual and as a species, depends on uniting and co-creating with others through unconditional love. Tone of Creation, Rhythmic Tone 6 in the Physical Realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts. And what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a day to find balance in the physical body by nourishing it with the right fuel, allowing greater light to flow through. In doing so, we are organizing on the physical plane to embody greater love. Today's question is, how can I organize my physical body and world as a receptacle for greater love to flow through? Divine blessings for increasing your heart's love quotient today. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 110, White Rhythmic Dog. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to love, balancing loyalty, I seal the process of heart. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. 
And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these free daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light Maria Richards for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Melissa Ashtara Rose. Sekhmet's Divine Flame Prayer Dear Sekhmet, thank you for inviting me into your flame of transmutation. I now step into your flame and allow myself to transmute all agitation, pain, and distortion from my body and consciousness. I now allow your flame to expand within and around my body as it releases all negativity and density into the light. I now let go and surrender everything that I cannot control. I now release all my weight and burdens into the flame as I trust now in the universal plan. Thank you, Goddess Sekhmet, for your guidance and blessings. From MagdalenRoseTemple.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred weekend ahead as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently or sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.